Hey there, MC here. Question I get asked all the time by students is, how do I prepare for my exam? How can I do better on my exam? Can I prepare better for my exam? Might be a better question. And to answer that, it's yes. And I'm going to give you a few tips on how to make sure that your exam results are the best you've ever had just by doing a little bit of tuning. Tuning of what? The thing that holds your brain, your body. That's right. Do these few tips that connect your brain and body together a little better, and they're going to be counterintuitive. You're going to perform better on your exams, guaranteed by science and research results, effortlessly. Hang in there and I'll show you how. Okay, what's one of the first things we can do to effortlessly improve exam performance? Well, start practicing going for a bit of a run or an extreme walk or something that'll get your heart rate up for about 20 minutes before you have to do whatever the assessment is you're doing. This affects something called the anterior cingulate cortex in the brain that helps do decision making, especially on multiple choice. You got some questions about multiple choice? People perform better when they've had their heart rate up for a little bit. So you don't have to be in super shape, you just have to be getting your heart rate up before you go into your exam. That's tip number one. Okay, here's another way to stay in good trim for your exams. Take water in. There's research that shows that people who stay hydrated during exams, go in with a bottle of water, actually perform significantly better on their exams. That's it, just by staying hydrated. So, but in the meantime, grab your water. Okay, why blueberries? So the thing about blueberries is that research shows that this thing in here called flavonoids are fantastic when you take it in the morning to get you through an afternoon slump also, it helps with memory. So combine some blueberries five hours before you have an exam and you're going to be doing really well in terms of energy levels from the sugar in these things and also with the flavonoids that are seen to be a factor associated with memory and recall. So you can't go wrong cognitive performance wise if you're doing some blue or berries in general, but these guys are the ones that were tested. So give it a go. Okay, here's another tip. Get outside, get some sunshine. Why? The earlier you get sunshine in the day, the better that is for your circadian rhythms. The more unified your circadian rhythms are, set by the clock in your body and that big ball of sun up there, the easier your hormones fire. The hormones are the middle managers of the body and they tell the body what it needs, whether it's in stress, whether it's relaxed, whatever, which also tells your brain those kind of things. So an easy way to help improve your studying, make sure you get a lot of sunshine. The earlier in the day, the better. And when you're in the UK, whenever you see it, go okay. get it. So here's the last tip and it's perhaps the best one, but maybe the hardest one to practice and that's get some sleep. Most of us, when we're studying for exams, we want to try to pull an all-nighter, and actually that's one of the worst things you can do. The best thing to do is, if you're feeling like, oh, you've got so much more to do, is take a break, go for a little walk, get some fresh air, and then get to bed. Make sure that you get five sleep cycles a night. That's about 90 minutes each, or seven and a half hours. The way you can tell you've gotten enough sleep, you wake up without an alarm. If you need an alarm, your sleep is screwed. And why is sleep so important? Well, that's also where muscle building happens, but in particular for exams, that's where memories are built. So you do all that studying. If you don't get enough sleep at night, a lot of that memory work is going to be for naught, and then when you try to recall it during your exam, you're screwed. So get your sleep. So here's a recap. Move, sunshine, sleep, blueberries, and water in the exam, you'll rock it. Honest. Good luck.